Welcome back to the channel, everybody. You're back with T-Tac Living, and thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. It's a beautiful day, and I'm actually making this intro the day after I got all the footage simply because I never did a formal intro, and when I was walking down yesterday, I kind of just jumped right into the fishing. Uh, I seen a guy walking down. He had the same bait as I did, so I figured he's probably going to be fishing the same spot, and sure enough, I got to my spot, and he was fishing here as well, and great minds think alike, right? So... Uh, my first thought was he's going to be fishing here and I'm going to have to fish somewhere else, but that wasn't the case. I came and I asked him if I could fish and he said, yeah. And, uh, we, we instantly started chatting it up. I went up stream, came back downstream and we talked for about another hour. But I say all that to say this in the intro is because his name was Brian and just a super good guy. But he said that yesterday was his first time fishing in two months. And I know how that is when you have a passion for something and you don't get to do it for so long. Uh, it hurts and he had been in the hospital every day for the past two months dealing with treatments and you guys probably know what I'm talking about I won't go into details because that's really confidential information uh, if he does watch my video but I just want to let him know prayers are going your way and I also wanted to ask anybody who watches the video if you got this far into the intro uh, go ahead and send prayers his way and have faith that the Lord is going to heal his disease uh, because a lot of people are dealing with it right now in the world and it's a big thing, it's a big deal. So uh, let's thank the Lord today. Let's show gratitude towards everything he's given us. And I just ask that you guys would send prayers his way. But less talking, uh, let's go ahead and jump into the video. A lot of spots caught, and this time of year it's super early. Not a whole lot of white bass, not a whole lot of stripers, not a whole lot of hybrids. But I'll tell you this, beautiful days coming soon. It's at the end of winter. Uh, but I'm gonna quit talking, quit rambling on. You guys enjoy the video. I think I caught quite a bit of spots out here, all in the same spots, you know, on the rapids. So uh, if you have any takeaways, good. If not, let me know what I can do better in the next video. You guys stay tuned and enjoy the video. What's going on, man? You mind if I fish right around you? It's the only place I catch them, man. You catch them out here? They fight good down here, man. What's that? They fight good when you get, do get them. Yeah. See, they're fat. That fat one right there, boys. Good looking bass. He's beat up. Tails beat up. Let that fish go. Right up underneath that rock, bro. I feel like I missed a lot of the seasons the last year, the last couple years. Bed bus will go first. Start headed out. Oh yeah. So for striper, what's your favorite bait? <clears throat> what about the Coosa River? You ever fish Coosa River? A lot of white bass out there. Oh, that was a fish. Oh no. I, I, went out there a couple times in the past month and 
definitely caught some good white bass. I've never, never been big into it. Do you use a tandem rig when you fish for them, or you just go single? Oh yeah. For sure. Crazy colors on them. Vibrant. Little small guy. Another one right there. Unlock the new spot, man. I've never caught him right there. But right there. I guess there's like a little, they're all smaller, but. It's number three, man. Slowly working that thing to the current. Using a little swing impact. This one's a little bigger. There's one out of that wash right there, man. Come on. Over the rock, dude. Oh my you know they're eating good. We want never getting off. Thank you, girl. Crazy stuff, man. Got that one directly out of the whitewash. Insane, brother. Right there. Oh my goodness, man. Little ding-a-ling. 
They're right behind the rocks, man. Fish those dang rocks, man, like your life depends on it. They're on them. It's a little harder to fish the next set of rapids down there with lighter baits. When you catch them, do you catch them in that little eddy right there? Yeah. We're not gonna let it go that easy, man. Hung on something, homie. Really hate to lose this bait to something stupid like this. But we're going to. We're breaking it off, we're tying on. We've caught five so far, to say the least. It's been a pretty dope experience. All I'm doing is throwing up in the eddies, going in the deeper spots. I reel that thing, jerk it super slow, and they're slapping it. Using a white and chartreuse swim bait head. And I did have some Rage swimmers. There were three inches. These are swing impact four inch. These will still do the job, just a little bigger. But you can't come down here and expect not to lose any swim bait heads or baits. You're gonna lose them. It's gonna happen. So if you're river fishing, just be prepared to lose a bait or two. Yep, there's one right there. He was right on the edge of that rock. Pretty insane, bro. Choked that thing. Holy smokes. Thank you, girl. Insane stuff, bro. No. We just tied on, homie. Woo! Sometimes you just gotta play around with it, man. Bro, these late winter allergies, man. Where did they come from, bro? We may need to go further upstream. You guys didn't see that, homie. I don't think anybody did. You just gotta casually play it off sometimes. You got you one, man. They'll do it to you. These rocks are slippery, man. You didn't see me fall over there, man. Yeah. You didn't see me. <laughs> My camera did, I'll tell you that. I got two more swim baits. Could definitely lose one at this set of rapids here. If that's the case, if I run out of baits, man, we're cutting the, the night short, but I'm hoping we can pull up at least one or two right here. I've came to this exact spot, man, a couple times this winter and have not caught a fish here yet. In theory, everything's promising right here. You got the rocks, you got an eddy, you got rapids. 
everything in theory looks very promising but haven't caught anything right here I don't know what it is I don't know if it's because it's a little farther upstream let those rapids do most of the work There's one right there, baby. Let's go. Out of the flowing water, baby. I can't express to you guys how dope that was, man. <laughs> Holy smokes, baby. Let's go. That is sick, man. He's a little better. Come here, buddy. Right off the beach, homie. Let's go. Smoked it. Thank you, girl. So we, I think we found the pattern right here. You throw it, and you let these rapids just do the work for you. Slow rolling that thing. A couple small jigs. There's obviously a rock out there where fish are stacking up on. I think that's the main goal, is finding the best piece of structure without getting hung, which can be super hard to do, especially fishing in these rapids. These little mosquitoes, man, they're out here. All right, there's gotta be one over there, man. One more cast and then we're probably about to head down the stream. At least I caught one at the rapids. That's really all I wanted, man. We're going to head downstream, see what happens. You still slaying the dog mess out of them? You still slaying them? I caught one up there, man. You could have told me there was more sitting up there and I wouldn't have believed you. There's one right there. I mean, this. Where'd you go? Uh, I went all the way up to the second rapid. This spot's just more promising, man. You know? Come on, buddy. A bunch of little gimpies down there. Thank you, big bro. There you go. 